We believe that our joint replacement patients recover best at home. Your home is familiar and comfortable, and we want to give you all the information you need to make sure you and your home are fully prepared for your return home after surgery. Let's start with the floors. Do you have any floor rugs? Pick them up and put them away, especially those in the bathroom. It can be all too easy to trip over rugs like these when using crutches or a walker. Your pets are another trip hazard. We know they can be great emotional support, but you may want to start paying more attention to where they are in the house and when they might sneak underfoot without you noticing so that you are more aware after surgery. We encourage you to take some time to practice with your walker in the weeks leading up to surgery. Make sure you identify any doorways that may be too small to fit through or other potential trouble spots. You'll be surprised at how different it can be to move through otherwise familiar spaces once you have a walking aid to contend with. And of course, you will feel different once you've had your surgery, but it's still a good idea to get comfortable with your walking aids right now. You will be able to go up and downstairs following surgery, but we do recommend for the first few days at home you have a bed, a place to sit, and a bathroom all on the same level, if possible. If this means setting up a temporary bed on the same floor as your bathroom for just a few days, consider it. If you have a significant number of stairs in your home and you're concerned about your mobility, talk to your physical therapist during your inpatient stay at the hospital. We will do everything we can to make sure you are comfortable navigating stairs after your surgery. When it comes to places to sit, higher is better as low seats can be difficult to get out of. You also should consider buying or borrowing a shower chair to avoid slips or falls while bathing. Shower chairs are available at medical supply stores, some larger grocery stores, and even pop up at thrift stores. You may also want to install a temporary grab bar in order to make it easier to maneuver in your shower. Now is the time to get cooking. You won't want to worry about meal prep in the first few days after surgery. So prepare and freeze a few meals now to make it easier on yourself later. If your care coach will be staying with you at your home and they feel comfortable handling meal preparations, no need to worry about all of this. But we encourage you to start a conversation about this and to plan ahead. It may seem overwhelming at first, but taking the time to organize your home and plan for your return from the hospital will make your recovery process much smoother and more comfortable later on. It's one of our top priorities to make sure you are safe and confident about your return home after surgery. 